Well, good morning. I am pleased <laughs> to say, well, first of all, welcome to Epic Every Day. My name is Evan Ferrix, and this is going to be the end of the keto vlog. And I'm happy about that. It has been, uh, well, today's day 12, I think. I didn't record yesterday. I think it is day 12. Started on a Monday. Today's Friday. So anyway, you do the math, I guess. <laughs> what am I excited about? Um, I'm excited to not be having so few calories. I mean, we didn't do, you know, this really restricted amount of calories the entire time, but the past three days or four days, we definitely have been. And I felt really weak uh, and tired. I had a very um, kind of mentally straining day at work yesterday, and it was just really difficult to keep up with all this stuff I had to, to think about and to process and do. So I'm off work today. I got a lot of good things going on today. Off work today. Last, no more keto. So when I break my fast this morning, it's going to be something different, which is going to be awesome. Going to go to the grocery store and get some yogurt and some granola to celebrate. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Uh, my kids are planning something special for me, for their channel. Uh, it was special for them, but um, it's going to be sort of a surprise for me. I'm not even exactly sure what's going to happen, but they're going to make a fun video for their channel. Uh, Sister Tales HS. I'll put a link to it uh, up here. Um, and um, I'm going to work on Epic every day today for a couple hours, Liz and I. Um, so we try to do that on Fridays and Saturdays, kind of get a bigger work chunk in. Uh, I'm not really sure how to close out the keto vlog. I mean, I, I, well, I lost three pounds. I don't think I said that. Um, well, actually I should weigh myself today, see if it's any more. But as of yesterday, I'd lost three pounds. I feel like, uh, I, seeing the, the, using the keto test strips, uh, I think is really good. I think trying to do keto without that would be like flying blind, um, so if you're going to try to do keto, I would highly encourage you to get the test strips so you can keep track of what's going on. And you can know if you're actually, how, how into ketosis you are. And, you know, a level one or, you know, these lower levels is still ketosis, but getting up to a level eight is the, the therapeutic level. And it was exciting to see that progression and also discouraging when, when it fell away and they had to build back up to it again, for sure. Um, but without that, I... I don't know, you know, I guess we'd done it for a couple weeks and then stopped. But with it, you know, was able to cut that short a little bit and actually see, okay, we've reached the therapeutic level for long enough and now back down into maintenance. So thanks for following along. I'm, maybe I'll vlog a little bit the rest of the day to kind of uh, close out this little uh, episode here. Thanks for watching along with me. One other closing thought about keto here, like, I, I don't know what this was. It felt like acid reflux or something, but when it had been a while in between meals, you know, because we're eating such, so little, like, I just, it was feeling, um, I don't know, I don't know what it is, almost like hiccups, but not quite, and just kind of bad, and so sometimes I drink a little bit of baking soda, and that seemed to help, or sometimes I drink a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water, because uh, I couldn't really tell if it was I couldn't really tell what was going on, but that was a really weird thing that I'm... So that was a really weird and frustrating thing that I wasn't quite sure what that was, but I wanted to, to document it here. It felt really weird. I, and I'm surprised I don't feel it now, because it was... If I'd have my lunch at 1 or something, and we didn't have dinner till 5 or 6, or, or 7 sometimes, that's when I would start to feel that. And now, as it is now, I've been fasting since dinner last night, and I don't feel it right now, but... You know, I might by the time it gets to be breakfast time at, at 10.30. I don't know what that is. It could, be, uh, it could be my body going into fasting mode instead of ketosis. That's kind of what Liz thought it was. Because one time, I yesterday, I tested my levels after work, and it was in that period of time before dinner, and uh, I was actually dipped back down to a 1.5. But then as soon as I ate the keto meal, and then an hour later I tested again, and I was back up to an 8. So maybe it was fasting mode versus keto mode. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the guy on the radio just said it's going to be sunny all day today. Evidently he's not looking at what I'm looking at.
I'm headed to the grocery store. Got to get some breakfast. I also need to do something for to contribute to this challenge. Uh, well, it's not really a challenge. This the subscriber special that my girls are doing on their channel. I need to find something for them uh, to try to guess what it is as well. I've got some ideas. I wanted to check in more about that feeling. I guess it's the, the fasting feeling. I don't know. I was just starting to get it again, this sort of acid refluxy type feeling. So I'm going to break my fast in about half an hour. Looking forward to that. Um, and then, like, like I said before, intermittent fasting every day for 16 hours now is supposed to keep the ketogenic ability in my body kind of primed and ready to go. And, and it'll kick in at the end of that 16-hour fast. So I'll be dipping into ketogenesis a little bit every day, which will be really good for general health and ready to um, do some normal stuff again. Now, although normal for us is still fairly clean eating, I feel like. Um, probably a bit more sugar than we need to have, but we are working on that. Whole30 really opened our eyes to that. And uh, now that we're done with Whole30, I feel like we haven't reintroduced all the sugar. So looking forward to it. Oh, it looks like I'm ready to go here. All right, it's the end of the day. It was a pretty good day. Um, I'm so glad to be off of that introduction diet, uh, but I'm also glad I did it, and I think eventually Liz will be too. She's still feeling pretty bad, but I think it's going to be uh, beneficial. Um, showed you a little. I'll show you a little clip of what the girls are working on for their video. put a link to that as well. That was a lot of fun making that. Although we had some technical difficulties, which was very disappointing. Uh, they filmed a whole 20 minute long thing where I was giving them, or no, they were giving me stuff to taste test that I didn't know what it was and I was blindfolded. And then their phone lost the whole file. It kept the part where I give them stuff to taste test. So that's what their video is going to be about for their 19 subscriber special. So that's going to be cool. Um, so Thanks for checking this out. Uh, you know, keto's not, even though this is the last of the keto vlogs, we're still going to be doing ketogenic diet one weekend a month. And maybe I'll check in every once in a while when that, but I, you know, I don't want Epic Everyday channel to be all about just keto. It's about physical health, spiritual health, mental health. Uh, so maybe I better, I'll pick something else to, to do a series on maybe. We'll see what my video ends up being next week. But I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you for watching this. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a comment about something about physical or spiritual health that you're interested in. And uh, we could talk about it together. I think that'd be fun. All right. So long.